What's up guys, eBaby and Anna here. If you're new here, welcome to the eBaby family and don't forget to subscribe to become part of the cutest gang on the internet, the eBabies. I decided to take another idea from one of you guys and I will be reacting to a hype mic video. Shout out to Shara's girl Brittany for this idea and if you guys want to be featured in my next video don't forget to comment your suggestion down below and if I pick your idea you will get a shout out in my next video. If you guys don't know who hype mike is he is basically a 3 a.m slash haunted channel he is part of jester's team who does mostly 3 a.m content so i know that some of the things will probably be staged based on that but i don't know if he stages everything or when he goes to actual haunted places he tries to keep it more authentic so uh, we'll be looking out for that in the video i have to say i am not an expert i have been to haunted places in the past and I've had some experiences I think and I have a haunted doll here that was picked by Kelsey Davies and she will be assisting me in this video I will be asking her some questions at one point with my dowsing rods and the spirit box but yeah this is mostly a just for fun I am not trying to criticize in any bad way the video but I'm interested in finding out if there's any real paranormal things that happen in the video so I will be trying to debunk or explain things if I think maybe they could be staged. The video that I picked is called the Fairmont Banff Hotel, Canada's most haunted hotel. Full cool movie. So I don't know if this was in parts. I chose the full length. So this is gonna be literally a movie. I think lots of things are gonna happen. This is also one of his most viewed videos. It has 3.1 million views, which I think is like his most viewed haunted video. And it is a hotel that is in Canada, a place I really want to visit. I know it's really haunted so I'm interested to see if anything really paranormal happens in that video. Anyways enough talking guys and uh, let's get into this video. The Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel. We're here to figure out if this place is really Canada's most haunted hotel. Here late one night and uh, I was working on a project and somebody walked behind me and it was a dead-end corridor so I turned around to say uh, good morning to them and there was nobody there. Guests and staff alike have seen a bride dancing in the Cascade Ballroom alone. It's just that feeling that there's presence. a presence. There's something here. So whether you believe in the paranormal or not, there's just one way to find out. Maybe come stay a night in one of Canada's most haunted hotels. Damn. I want to ask Anna one question uh, to start. Oh my god, that was so close. I'm sorry about that. I want to ask Anna if she knows about this hotel. I think Anna was European. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not fully sure. But let's ask her. There's also apparently a ghost man living in the apartment with me. If you don't know what I mean, you have to go watch the other haunted reaction. But yeah, if anybody knows anything, I'm gonna be asking some questions. I am gonna be also using the Necrophonic Spirit Box app. Yeah. So, spirits that are here. I'm sorry, the camera's not focusing on Anna's face, guys. I don't know what's going on today. It's not focusing on two people at once. Spirits. Anna. Man. I don't know his name, guys. I'm sorry. If you want to say your name in the spirit box app, by the way. Maybe we could get to know you. Okay. Um, do any of you know about the Fairmont Banff Hotel? Let me try this again. I don't know if I'm holding this properly. Let me try and be like so you guys could see more. All right. 
I think I'm getting it right. Do any of you guys here, spirits, know about the Fairmont in Banff? Like, in it being haunted? I think I heard yes on the app. They said yes. Okay. Have any of you ever been there? Yes. Okay. Okay. I really wonder, like, of the ghost world, like, they could just go anywhere. Like, that's haunted. Like, is it, like, because there's portals in these places? Um... Are you able to travel through portals in these haunted hotels? Yes. Okay. I don't know anything. Okay, uh, one last question. I heard no when I said one last question. Okay, let's let's get back to this. We'll ask more questions later. I heard thanks. Okay, let's get back to this. Let's stop this. This is creeping me out. What is up guys, my name is Simon Mike, welcome back to the hypest channel on the internet. Today marks the very first episode of the newest series for my channel. Now tomorrow we are flying all the way to Vancouver. Me and all the boys in the house are going all the way over there and driving all the way back. And now there's one spot that I want to try to stop at and that is the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel. And before we leave, I want to see if I could try to convince everybody to actually do this with me. So let's go inside and let's see what they say. You probably are wondering why I've gathered everyone here. No, not actually, not even a little bit. Mm -hmm. I know why. We're going to do one of your stupid little videos. As we all know, we are leaving to Vancouver tomorrow. And we are driving all the way back home. So that means we're going across the entirety of Canada. And there's a special spot right in the middle that we are going to go to. And that is Canada's most haunted hotel. Wait. We've already gone to Canada's most haunted hotel. That was Ottawa's most haunted hotel. That was, yeah, that was Ottawa's most haunted hotel. Oh, that, wow. And what was the name of that hotel, Jesse? Do you remember? The, uh... Fairmont, or Laurier. Fairmont. Yeah. So this new hotel that we're going to is actually called the Fairmont Banff Hotel. What? Yeah. How's that possible? Yeah, how do they have the same name? It's like a series of hotels, and apparently a oh. lot of them are haunted. But this Fairmont Hotel is the most haunted hotel out of all of them. First off, like this is true. A lot of the Fairmont hotels are known to be haunted. I've been wanting to go to a bunch of them. I know the one in Ottawa is also really haunted. And the reason why they're haunted is because they're really, really old, I believe, castles way, way back in the past. So they're very old buildings. A lot of people have gone through them. Like they've been a lot of different things through the years, but they've been hotels for a really long time now. And a lot of people report them to be haunted. Haunted. And the Fairmont Bam Springs is apparently the most haunted one. There's also one uh, close to it that's in Victoria that's also very haunted that I wanted to go as well. But this one is definitely at the top of my list. This hotel is shown on many, many haunted lists of like hotels. Like if you go search world's most haunted hotel, Fairmont Banff will show up. But it'll be number one. So that is why I want to go there. I want to see if this place is actually legit. What do you guys think? You want to go? You li <laughs> We have no choice. I right? <laughs> this, man, this man has us at gunpoint. He says, we're going to film a video, and you're going to say yes. <laughs> to we have no we choice. Go. We're on a road trip in <laughs> Vancouver. In one car, we have no choice. <laughs> I'm just going to tuck this in here. <laughs> yes, we're down, obviously. OK, let's all sit down. Let's see why this place is as haunted as this website say it is. 
All right, so before we fly to Vancouver, let's find out why this place is so haunted. So I wanna show you guys what the hotel actually looks like before we actually go there and oh. talk about the hauntings. So here's the image. I think it looks oh, what the hell pretty damn cool. It, it looks, looks Hogwarts. really cool. That's what, what I'm that? saying. It, it looks like Hogwarts from Harry Potter. I have a question already. Yeah. It does not look haunted. It looks very it looks come on, that lively. Looks, that yeah. looks, it looks lively and alive. Right? It just looks like there's lights on. Is it, the picture of it on fire? <laughs> <laughs> there's no more hotel there and it's completely abandoned. There's one floor. Okay, so I've heard a little bit about this place and apparently there's this like Phantom Bride. <laughs> like that's the, the, yeah, that's the most the main popular one. one, right? Which I can imagine is pretty, uh, pretty fitting for a place like that. So apparently this lady was married in Banff in like the 30s or 40s, something like that. She got the bridal suite and they were having this huge ball. What is that? Another the banquet. banquet. A banquet, yeah, yeah, banquet ball. Okay, like already I just I have to say this because I just think it's funny because he was like, oh, what's his name again? Um, the guy that was just speaking. I can't remember his channel right now, I'm sorry. But it was so obvious that this was scripted. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not a paranormal thing, but you could tell that I Mike was just like, can you please talk about this particular thing that happens? Because there's just so many cuts. It kind of clues us in already that this is more for entertainment. I understand most videos are scripted in that way, like even Sam and Colby, like they definitely have lines when they do the history part and everything. But for me, it was more like him say as if like, oh, like I, I know this, like I remember this. It, it wasn't like, oh, by the way, this is like my line and like I'm assuming it. It was like, you know what I mean. So there's this huge like marble staircase. Like this place is insanely fancy. And she <laughs> was going down the staircase towards the, the banquet room and she brushed against one of the candles. That was like the primary way they like lit the place. It brushed up against her dress and just like exploded into flames. Oh, <laughs> and then she tripped and like fell down the stairs and she ended up like- on fire. While on fire and like breaking her neck. And now people apparently see her. And it makes sense because yeah. you know, you're, it's your wedding, not your wedding day, but you're like celebrating your wedding, this fancy thing. And then you die suddenly. It mm -hmm. builds yes. some type of like hatred and like, and that's why she hasn't place. like transcended. Very creepy stuff. Mm -hmm. Ever since she's been haunting these hallways, she's been known to be walking up the stairs up to the ballroom like all the time, like going up and down because that's mm -hmm. pretty much how she died. She was going up the stairs. So right? she walks up the stairs yeah, she's, and she's seen tumbling down them as well. Or? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Holy gee, imagine walking up. This place is beautiful. You just hear. Are you, are you okay? Are you okay? And then she just disappears. Jesus, pack your things, honey. Apparently, you could also see her like dancing in like the ballroom where she was going, and she's just like dancing there. And I mean, if I saw a girl in a dress dancing in a ballroom and then just like vanish, that'd be absolutely terrifying. That's kind of weird, yeah. There are also multiple reports of like screams and like weird like howling coming from like the bridal suite where she was standing. Howling? I don't know, like strange sounds, like. Just many reports and there's just like no one in the room. It's just like weird to hear that kind of stuff in a room where no one's supposed to be in. Yeah. And then there's a second ghost that is found in the hotel and he's called the Bellman. And his name is Sam McCauley. And this guy is apparently a friendly ghost who like helps around the place. Is it just me or there's always like that one friendly ghost? I feel like in every haunted video that I, even in the, the last one that I reacted to, this lady was like cleaning up the room and there's this other hotel, I, I think the like Queen Anne or something. There's a helpful ghost. There's a helpful ghost. I need one of those around here, guys. I mean, once again, not asking for more ghosts, but the ones that are here could help out. There was like two ladies who like went to the room and their key card wasn't working. So they went to the, they went down the stairs, they went, oh, like the card's not working. You had to get like the bellman to like fix it. And he was like busy doing other stuff. And he was like 15 minutes like doing other stuff. And then he mm -hmm. finally came back. And then they go back to the room and then the key cards started working again. And apparently that's Sam McMully or whatever McCully. So the ghost did that. Yeah, apparently the He's ghost is out. like helping guests and like staff so doing like dude. random stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and apparently you're actually able to see him because there's one time a girl, 
she was like checking in and there was a dude, an old Scottish dude in a plaid shirt, which is the description of Sam McCulley. He was helping her like put her bags in the room, but apparently there's nobody of that nature who actually works there. And she's like dead set on this person dude, was actually helping her. I she bet it's someone who's heard the story, walks around in the same outfit up. and just plays everyone. That, that would so be funny. funny. That would actually be funny. I just, I don't think ghosts, like, could they, could ghosts, like, actually help you bring your luggages up? It seems like a lot of force and energy that would be needed to do that, you know? Like, it's a lot. There's also other stories of, like, Sam, like, haunting his, like, old office where he used to work, and it's actually now a guest room, but apparently you're still able to see him. He just, like, loved his job so much that Jesus when he died, he just came back to the hotel. And this man stuff. probably thinks he's still on shift. Wow. <laughs> just punching in and punching just out. Just punching in yeah, and punching out. certain no hours clue. where he appears. He has no clue. No idea. I didn't love your job that much. Couldn't be me. Okay, this is weird. Apparently, there's a room, room 873, which is the most haunted room in the hotel, but it's blocked off. Yeah, I heard about that, actually. It's, uh, I can't remember what happened with that room, but I heard that it was so haunted that they had to seal it off and even like remove the numbers yeah, just so people knew numbers. like okay what? like because people eventually heard i have never heard of a hotel that sealed down a room like even the queen mary's hotel has like that super haunted room you could rent it out for a night it has like a ouija board a crystal ball and all that stuff it's super haunted so for a hotel to literally close it down like this, a hotel that turned the bellboy's office into a room has decided to condemn a room fully and like remove the door and everything. Like I have to see this with my own eyes. Like this is, this is insane. Like something crazy had to have happened for this to be like a thing. Room 873, mm -hmm. they had to like scrape the numbers off so people would just stop. Jesus. Uh, that's awful. Yeah, it says here that legend has it a man murdered his wife and young daughter before committing suicide in that room. And guests have said that like people, when they fall asleep, they're awoken by like howling screams and like crazy screeches in the room and lights turning on and off. And they'd find like bloody handprints on the mirror inside the room. And then the staff would like that's come crazy. upstairs. And then the prince would be gone. Yeah, that's, that's weird. That's, like that's pretty fun. terrifying. That's... Like, imagine. It even says that some people reported seeing, like, the spirit of the daughter who, like, got killed by the father outside of the door, roaming around the halls. And this is really weird. Apparently, the hotel is, like, covering up the whole story. So, like, if, yeah. if you ask any of the employees, they're just going to deny this ever happening. Like, this is not a story. Like, this never happened. I mean, yeah, it could, like, harm their reputation, right? Yeah, so exactly. Like... Okay, now I'm wondering if this is, like, the plot they're going to go with, and this could be made up. I need to look into this a little bit. Apparently, this is real. There are a lot of things about it online. Look at this castle. Right. Which one are we staying in? That's the one. Okay. I'm guessing this is Fairmount. Fairmount. Sir William Cornelius Van Hornet. Hornet. Imagine having that name. Dude, everyone must have hated him. <laughs> Hornet, get away! Maybe he changed his name to Fairmount because he was getting bullied so much for being named Hornet. Hornet Van Hotel. Ugh. No, no one. No one would come here. Yeah, no. It's known for its hornets. Nice. You're getting better at photography. I see the vision. I have to get out of the habit of always using Snapchat and Instagram cameras yeah. instead of my actual camera. You, like you know. To show everybody what you're doing, right? Exactly. I like to you show everybody my joy. You have to make sure you let other people know that. You're I'm doing this and I'm having fun. Looks <laughs> <laughs> behind me. See him? We didn't have to oh, get after. He's ready to check his Get him? Did you capture him? Yeah, I did capture him. Okay, cool. Thank you. But I feel like he's part of. Nope. Don't. don't. He's a ghost, man. You'll, we, we'll never know. We have to be vigilant. Don't let your guard down like that. Well, we heard this place is like 
haunted, so we're kind of like looking to look around, see what we could find. If you go take a left, there's a beautiful ballroom there. Yeah. The staircase at the end, and if you walk to the bottom of the staircase, there's a there's a story there about. Yeah, yeah, I heard about like the the girl who like died there. Legend has it that 155 years ago, these. <laughs> <laughs> Legend has it that 155 ago, these were the same walls. 155 ago? Yeah, did I forget years? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. These walls have a pheromone in them that's a defense mechanism against invading countries oh. to make their enemies forget. A pheromone or a fair amount? Fair amount of a pheromone. <gasps> oh. There we go. That's why it's called the Pheromone Hotel. <gasps> And the ghosts are just hallucinations as a result of the pheromones. Holy smenoli. Did we just crack the case? He's done he's did it. Freaking he freaking Martin mystery did it. I would have preferred Scooby Doo, but yeah. flickering lights. See that, that light up there? <gasps> that's wait, isn't that where the haunted room is? Wait, that's kind of creepy. That's, uh, the, that's where the missing room is. Is it? How would yeah. you know? I don't know. Dude. We don't know where it is. That's kind of creepy because yeah. it's missing. What is this? No, it's just this weird room with this ambient lighting. Whatever's in there is not meant to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. We're locked. <gasps> yeah, so key? Done. How do they do it? I think somebody opened the door and they just like clutched, clutched it. Such a <laughs> gets them every time. <gasps> An acorn. This man is an acorn. acorn. <laughs> hey, want to hear a cool story? What? All of these? Want to hear a cool story? When I was a kid, Nick was there, and ever since then, I don't trust pine cones. <laughs> Parkour. This is parkour. Internet sensation of 2004. So we've been fooling around, but it's time to get serious. We're looking for the ballroom. If we get there, we can theoretically see the Phantom <laughs> Ride. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Well, it is in the middle of the day, so we're probably not going to see anything yet. But just so we know where the heck it is, so that we can find it later in the night. Uh, oh, look. Remember how we said Hogwarts? Gryffindor. Gryffindor. And Slither? Queen Heart Three Star. Queen Heart Three Star. Holy Queen Heart Three Star. Shit. Star, yeah. Three Star. Beyond oh, the Beast? Oh, did we just or... spoil the new Harry Potter movie? Sorry, guys. We're going to have to edit that. We'll get rid of that in post. We're not allowed to go in here, but look at the photo they use. Oh, no, it's the freaking uh, It's the Phantom Bride. <gasps> it, that's a little creepy, but I mean, it's just like a Victorian dress because that's kind of the air of the hotel. But it's still like a weird thing uh, to see. Like, I've never seen this before. What? Did you hear that? Something's in this room. Maybe it's a washroom. What the hell? What is what's in here? I heard something bang in there. Do you see anything? It's like a, a storage. Maybe something fell? Is that it? Yeah, it's a bang. Like yeah. a bang. I don't see anything. It's very spooky. I don't really want to like enter. Holy moly. Dude, should we go in and explore? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh. It's so cool. Look how old this door is. It's at least like 20 years. Maybe 30. Wait. Definitely 30. Maybe we should be smelling stuff. Right? It's so like quiet in here. I know. Oh, wow. What's the guy's name? Angus? Angus room? Dude. Wait, these are rooms. Look, it has key cards. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? We should be here. Yeah, we definitely should be. Why would there be rooms here, though? Strath, Strathcona. What if these are rooms for like Bellman? You know, people work here. Oh. And look, it's scratched off. They took it off. What if it was like Sam's what if it was Sam? That could have easily be Sam's room. It's kind of stupid, but dude, why are there rooms here? And like the sketches? They're, they're for sure. They're for sure abandoned. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah, it yeah. seems like a staff. This is like staff maintenance and everything, right? So, mm -hmm. 
Does this door open? Did you try yeah, it? Try. It's locked. Shoot. That'd be amazing. Oh, can, we, can we try and knock on the door? Because uh, I heard a bang in here, guys. Like, literally, there's a bang coming from here. Knock on the door? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely creepy. Though. I feel like I've dealt with like this type of cold before, and it's just like giving me like PTSD, you know, from like yeah. other places we've been to. There it is, the piano. Oh, we're totally gonna hear this play in the middle of the night. And no one's gonna be but who, who is that? I don't know. He's watching this is, over his piano. This is how Mike's mustache he wishes it was. Are you insane? No. Well, you're growing it and not shaving it, so it must you must want okay. it to look like look, that. Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Look at me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Like, this guy was literally like staring down at us from the very creepy. Look at this. That looks like a woman. A woman's hair. That doesn't even look like him, right? Well, that's a girl for sure. Okay, so this is it. This is the dude that she was supposed to marry, and now she's like always with him. But he's alone. But like she's there Wait. still. They have like a painting of the ghost, or is that like what? <laughs> like, is that supposed to be a shadow? It does look like a ghostly right figure with the veil like on top and like the dress, and like even you can make out sort of a face. It's like paler. That's a really creepy painting. Right? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> I wonder if there's anything in it. I can't actually like tell. I don't know, it's but so cool. that's a there's something in there that's spooky. I have a feeling we still haven't seen the ballroom because this is Mount Stephen Hall. Oh, all that for nothing. I feel like there's like something bigger out here, like something that there's like massive that we're not seeing. We need to look better, honestly. Okay, let's keep looking because let's go upstairs. Everything we said might have in nothing valid. to do. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but like it was a marble staircase. Like, how much more do you want from us? <laughs> All these crazy theories, and it's like nothing makes oh, any sense. It's just uh, a regular room in the hotel. She actually never got to visit this small hotel. <laughs> that was it. Really? It's a bit there. Oh, oh shit. shit. Okay, this is a huge piano. Oh, piano, oh. huge marble staircase. Oh. And that. Oh, this? Yeah. yeah. We had it all wrong. That's oh so my god. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely the ballroom, not some office room. This is the real deal, guys. That is super creepy. I wonder if they're like ghost children. Ghosts don't notice their surroundings. Are they like? Because my perception of like a phantom is like it's it's in a, like a loop, and it doesn't like adjust to people. It just like does its thing. So like if you see a ghost, you're like, hey, it wouldn't be like, oh, hey, man, it would just like keep on. Am I wrong, or is that like a sometime? I've heard of the of the the way that ghosts like loop. And they, they keep experience. Ooh, what the hell is that? There's a bug on you. That entire time. <laughs> dude. Okay, wait, that's actually a good theory, and I wonder. So uh, let's ask Anna about this. I don't know if ghosts would even know themselves if they are in a loop. Um, but I feel like the way that. 
so creepy. I feel like the way that you're able to interact with them would kind of not work with that theory, but maybe, I don't know, I also have this feeling that ghosts aren't necessarily at just one place at a time, if you know what I mean. I think their energy is like spread through you know, there's no sense of time and space, I think, in their realm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's it. So maybe they are stuck in loops in certain places? I don't know. Let's see. Hello. Okay, ghosts, Anna. Can you guys... Can you guys tell me if sometimes a ghost gets stuck in loops? Like where they kind of do that one action again and I think it's like this, but I don't know if I was moving. Let's do this again. Uh, can you answer this question again with the dogs and dogs, please? Do spirits sometimes get stuck in loops? Or not necessarily stuck, but they relive moments again and again. Yes. So, in the stories we read, like the Phantom Bride is like dancing in a ballroom and like constantly seen by the stairs. So it's just like she could be one of those types of ghosts that just keep reliving that moment in her life and then there are other times where we try to talk to ghosts and they respond to us lucy are you here whoa oh my god okay so this is what i'm talking about what i'm saying like a lot of his content at this stage like this was obviously staged so it's definitely a mix so far there's nothing paranormal that has happened but yeah let's see I'm thinking, How would that work with the loop, you know well, what I mean? I'm thinking more of like, there's different kind of ghosts, like an actual, f that's why I said phantom, like something you actually see versus like something that's there but you don't see it. Oh, you like if saying? you saw so something? if you like saw something, it's doing a loop, but I, if, if they interact with you, like touch your hair or something, but it's not actually there, it's like different. I feel like the ones that are stuck in a loop are like ghosts or spirits that have not even realized they're dead. And they keep reliving like those few moments yeah. Over and That's over literally and torture, over. man. What the hell? That's like a whole different like type of hell, really. I want to ask one more question, actually. So, are spirits that are stuck reliving their memories again and again, are they like really stuck just doing that? Or could they be like in more than one place at one time doing different things and not necessarily being stuck? So, cross if they could do... If they're not necessarily just stuck, if they could be communicating with people somewhere else. Um, yes. Okay. Thank you. Bro. Spook, don't tell Are me. Are you seeing this? Spook. Holy hell. Mirror. 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 This, this is look. a vortex. Literally oh right next to the Oh my god. Okay guys, talking about Vortex, I was thinking about that. Back home with my family, uh, we used to have this bath and I always felt so uncomfortable in it because it was surrounded like three huge mirrors like on each wall and I was always so scared of looking like in it. It was so scary and now that I know more about the paranormal, I realized that it's literally like a portal, like a vortex. So my parents' house is definitely like haunted. Might need to do a video on that. Let me know if that's something you'd like. But yeah, I think we've destroyed the vortex. It doesn't exist anymore, but I don't know if that got rid of the ghosts. Look all the way down there, bro. <laughs> Ew. This shit amplifies paranormal activity. Okay, wait, how do how can I look at it and actually see the infinite? Yes, I feel like I'm in the way of my I'm in the way of myself. Yeah. I think that's how it works. He's trying to he's trying to understand mirrors. My brain's about to break. You know what's crazy? It gets like dark. It gets darker the yeah, further you go down. It's so spooky. I really would love to get a picture of it. There we go. I got a clear. Did you, you see it like getting darker as it goes down? Uh, it doesn't get darker. Kind of like it gets smaller. It gets to a vanishing point. Okay, you're kind of ruining the spooky. Well, it's not darker. It's actually just a vanishing point. 
two hours later. Okay, so so far we are 40 minutes in, guys, and not nothing has happened. <gasps> I have goosebumps. Go, 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 go. That's her. This must be. Oh my god, it is. It is. Dude, why does she look so creepy? The story of a ghost bride dates back to the late 1920s on the wedding day of a young couple. The groom stood in this very room which was once a library. They were to make their way together to the glamorous Cascade Ballroom for the evening celebrations. As the bride stepped onto the staircase before you, the numerous lit candles that lined the steps cast a soft amber glow on the bride. Perhaps the bride caught her heel in the hem of her dress, or some movement caused her dress to brush up against the candle's flame. Okay, one thing I also uh, don't understand is like why are they investigating the hotel but like not investigating it? You know what I mean? Like they're not using any paranormal equipment yet? Is this still kind of just... I'm, I'm just confused about what's going on right now because I feel like this is like the fourth time we're hearing about the bride and like I just want them to try and communicate with spirits at this point. Minted in June. What was that? That was like right at the peak. Well? I heard someone moving. I heard a footstep. I heard a footstep. Did you hear something? There's something here. Are you Dude, did you hear that? Yeah, I definitely heard that. Was them? No, no, that was over here. That was literally right here. Yeah, yeah, I heard it like right here. Okay, this is definitely just like somebody who's so much. It was like right above right us. It's freaking 5 p.m. Go eat and come back with some paranormal equipment, please. I want a real investigation and I want it right now. This one. Look, and look inside. It's exactly like the other room where we heard the noise. That noise from earlier. Look, look, one side. It's, exa it's the exact same. Oh, that wasn't me. Might be like motion activated. Let's just go, let's just go. You sure? Yeah, let's just get out of here. I don't like this. I'm down to go hunting in there. Me too. You take the cow, we're just leaving the chickens. Yeah, this is definitely like a storage room, but like, these like creepy photos of like the ball. I don't know if this is the bar, but like, this whole thing is giving me like sketchy vibes. The lights in there are so eerie. Yeah, dude. If that lights are flickering, I'm out of here. That one ambient light at the end of the room. Yeah. I, dude, I, this room is freaking me the fudge out. No, nope. no, yeah, no, nope. no, 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 no. I, dude, you know what I feel like? You know what, what? I mean, the vibes? The lights are like leading us. Cause like we were like, dude, should we, should we go in the room? And then light turns on. Yeah. And then we go to that room, we're like, oh no, no. Light turns on. It's like freaking me out. Okay, we should go then? Absolutely not. It's <laughs> okay. too early. It's too early for that. No, 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 no. But we need to come back. Yeah, or for something. sure, for sure. This is definitely just motion activated because it's a staff room, I think. Like, they're playing with it. I mean, most people probably would. So, I definitely don't hold that against them. It's pretty creepy, so. Got the room key? You got it. There it is. Oh, hey, wait, before we go in. The chop house? That's, what is that? Like a uh, steakhouse? No, what if it's like. <laughs> what if it's like Chainsaw coleslaw. Massacre. This is hot. Eight floor. Yeah. Eight? Yeah. Eight. 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 Eight floor. What? What does that say? 875. They definitely asked for this room because it's next to the room that doesn't. It, like, that's not there anymore. Well, let's see if they're gonna admit to that, but I mean, and, and, like I would do the same thing, but I would say that it's on purpose. But let's see what they do with this. What was that number? The Isn't one with the eight seventy three. I can't remember what happened with that room, but I heard that it was so haunted that they had to 
seal it off and even like remove the numbers. That's like right next door. Wait, 873 is the missing room. Is the missing room. Legend has it a man murdered his wife and young daughter before committing suicide in that room. What are the chances of that? What are the chances of that? That's pretty creepy. That would be. That would be. I'm getting chills. This room, beside it's not going to exist. So 873 should not exist. Every floor has a room ending in 73, except for the 8th floor. This is the only room that is missing. It says the door was removed and the opening was covered with drywall and to match the rest of the hallway. You literally can't even see where it is. So it should be right here? Somewhere on this side. Wait, what's this room? 75. Yeah, so, so then it should be right here. Literally right here. Yeah, it should be up right there. Yeah. Wait, listen, listen, listen. Oh, Wait, what? It's hollow because there's no way. You can kind of see it. Look, it's look. hollow here too. Yeah, there's like you can kind of see it. Camera camera leads. That's really cool. I definitely I want to go there. And I'm definitely getting that room. I'm telling you guys, I will purposely ask for this room. The fact that they would condemn a room in the hotel and then have like these really creepy rooms in the office space that like I guess were the offices before but now they've turned them into some type of rooms but then they have a perfectly good room on that floor and they condemn that room like it has to be because nobody wants to stay in that room a there's line. like a, a wave right here yes. oh yeah, yeah you see there's a line oh, oh, is that right here look, look, look right here look Right there. Oh, you even see the crack right here. Crazy. Yeah, and the molding is redone? Yep. So it's true. That's pretty... That's, it's freaking that's true. That's and we got the room right, right next to it. Okay, let's go out. Let's check this out. That's creepy. This is it. Okay, let's get Unless this is like a typo. Welcome to room 875. Oh, yes! Dude, it even goes to the left. What? What? Bro, this is creepy. This wait, is, so uh, this it's is a whole Wait, wait, wait. Could it be that this used to be a smaller room and then they just decided to make bigger rooms because I don't know like the spacing like when I go there I'm gonna have to do some measurements because the room seems to be really on the left so maybe the room that's and there's even like a door I guess that's like the closet but I wonder if the room next to it could just be the room I guess to 71? Whatever the room is, like, it, it could be just that they split 273 to make those rooms bigger. Maybe they were really small rooms. Oh my god. Was that you? No. What? Did you not hear that? Oh, it was the door in the dresser. Holy Jesus. What? Dude, I literally had a heart Me attack. too. Holy. Holy. But we are literally right against that room. Yeah. That's so creepy. That's here. That room's here. Yeah. What was that? Was that... Oh, it was this. Jeez, man. Take a yeah. Dude, I am on edge. Take I am on edge, breath. bro. <laughs> that is insane. Alright, good night. Left it here because I don't know why the fuck we're here. Okay, Mike, I okay. went to go get the camera light from the car. I'm like an idiot. So, what happened? Okay, so Jesse's ordering. Room service. I didn't yeah. hear anything, by the way. I didn't hear anything. He's doing his thing. Nick's on his phone. Nick can't hear when he's on his phone. I'm just chilling <laughs> like this in the moment, okay? And then it was, I went to, it was when I went to sit on the bed. I heard like, 
dun, 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 dun. And then I was like, okay, it's obviously just me sitting on the bed. And then I heard it, like, three seconds later, I heard it again. Dun, 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 but what, what do you mean? Like, like, what are you hearing? Like, that, it was like a knocking, like a boom, boom. And like, a, it faded slowly. It faded slowly, so I, I thought when I sat on the bed, it was like just this. And then it slowly fades. Yeah. And then it happened again. I was like, I didn't do that. And then I was like this, on the bed, trying to like recreate a sound, and it was nothing. And then it happened again. And I'm like, no, no one's, everyone no thinks it's yeah, Nick, Nick, no. Nick heard it, but he thinks it's just yeah, me. I, I heard it. Cause I was like, dude, stop being an idiot. And then even I was like, Mike, you're so stupid. I came here, and I was like, this is what you're hearing. Mm. And nothing. <laughs> nothing. nothing. <laughs> Legit so nothing. I'm like, what the sh? And I don't know if it came from it came in the from room. There? It came from there. I don't know if it was like in the room or like, like, on the other side, like where the spooky room is. Yeah. But something was like knocking there. It's gonna be very hard for me to say that I believe in the things that they're saying, just because of the way they've already started the video. It seems like they're going for. Um, less authentic and more like scripted and they know what's gonna happen type video so i don't know it could be true that he heard that type of noise uh if the room is actually like condemned and this isn't part of it um or i mean the hotel is haunted so he could be hearing that noise but i call cap i'm sorry Shut up. Shut up. Okay, this one is definitely 1,000 million percent staged. Like, this is such a clear knock. Unless it, they're gonna s follow with, like, oh, ha, ha it's room service. Like, no. Either they have a four person or somebody's knocking, like, on the. Maybe the person that's on the bed is knocking on the side table or something. This is a human knock. This is not a ghost knock. I'm sorry. I no. This is not real. Uh, we'll get it. Longest hair has to get it. Biggest loser has to get it. Oh, no, ugliest idiot has to get it. Nice. <laughs> combo does that? Can't do anything about it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> is there gonna be room service? Uh, Somebody's supposed to like bring us the food. Yeah, they know. Yeah, we ordered room service. Okay, yeah, our food's here, but there's no dude. What do you mean? Our food's here, but there's like no dude. There was like a, a guy to like, here's your food, and get our what? tip and whatnot. Doesn't the guy normally bring it in? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me guess. They're gonna say that it's probably Sam. Look at me mean. Am I being mean? This is just for fun, guys. I mean, yeah, like normally they might just leave the food if you don't come like straight away. They're not like, hi. I mean, sometimes they want a tip though, they would stay, but I don't think it's Sam that's bringing the food, if that's what they're gonna say. For us? You're lying. It's just nobody here. What? Hello? It's very weird. The elevator's all the way, like, all the way down there. Maybe you had to do, like, a different room or something. Why would it, why would it, it's the one Okay, my theory as to how this was staged is that they paid the person their tip when they actually came. They said leave it out there and can you just knock and like, you know, walk away fast. That's up what happened. <laughs> Dude. I'm thinking the same thing you're thinking. What if it's sad? It's so stupid, but hello, Sam. I can't. Yo, we've been, we've done this before, and normally they they knock. What if it's Sam? I called it. I used to write this shit. Okay. <sighs> My back hurts. Before I keep going, guys, I want to say that I don't think there's anything wrong with the staging content. I think in those cases, like I think it's kind of obvious for most people. Um, 
I think they're doing it mostly for entertainment. That's why we were doing our content. It was kind of like an alternate reality game. Well, mostly the clown and monster videos. The haunted videos on Justin's channel and on my channel, we tried making it as real as possible. I did sometimes try to play with the things as much as I could, I guess. Bring up potential theories. But overall, when we did haunted content we tried keeping it authentic but still i don't think there's really anything wrong with what he's doing i think it's still entertaining it does seem like they try to use all those stories about the hotel and kind of make up their own story with it but yeah let's keep watching i don't think so far anything has been true but uh, maybe they will surprise me so let's see his name is sam mccauley and this guy is apparently a friendly ghost who like helps around the place. Apparently the ghost is out. like helping guests and like staff doing like dude. random yeah. stuff. And what's crazy is it was way earlier than when they said, they said 45 minutes. It's yeah, only it's been, been like 20 minutes. Does the food look good? It's like old or anything? Do I fresh? have my past? Yeah. Wow. Okay, like some is a burger? Is that a burger? It better be. Sam better dude, be. this is our food, bro. There's okay, no way. That's weird. All right, let's just bring it in. I'm freaking and, uh, out. Yeah, I guess we have to bring it in. Did you like hear anything? When you, like, anything? No, I just heard, we just heard the knock. I didn't hear any like footsteps. Somebody, yeah, somebody would have had someone would have run in. Knocks yeah. on the door and sprints down the hall. The guy must have been a freaking track star. Like, okay. Dude, this thing's heavy. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. Lift it up. Why is my burger not weird, man? That is very weird. Let's. I guess let's eat this. And Can we uh, even trust the food if it's like spectral food? What? Yeah, like someone just like someone weird. else's food. They, oh my god. Okay, well, well let's right. dig in, guys. I, I guess. I'm hungry. I mean, Full yeah. Balls. Thank you, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. We want to be like cool with him. Yeah. Because I don't know what he does. He's grateful people. people but. Yeah. Well, apparently he's friendly, so he just Cl clearly he got our food for us early. What would too. be weird is if the person who was actually supposed to deliver this comes with like a whole same order. I love how they're like immediately assuming that it's Sam. Like I don't think they're even trying to make it, you know, seem authentic at this point. I don't know. You you guys let me know. Maybe it's because I'm a YouTuber, like I've been in that genre, but to me this is like a very obvious like fictional story. Like obviously a ghost didn't bring the whole food cart. You know what? Let's ask what Anna and the ghost think of the video so far. Hopefully they can actually hear because I'm listening in my AirPods. I don't know how the ghost world works. Guys, have you been able to watch the video with me? Have you been watching it along with me? Yes. Okay, um, so do you guys think that this video is fiction, that it is scripted? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, do you think that the ghost of Sam is real though? Yes, okay, so the ghost is real, but according to them, the video isn't. So, um, did anything paranormal actually happen to them? Like, over there, that was really paranormal. It's gonna be apparent, but apparently something paranormal did happen to them. I mean, I still believe this place is haunted, guys, and I will do my own investigation of it one day when I go to Banff. Because it's, it's I know it's in Canada, but it's like as far as going to LA, it's like a six-hour flight, guys. Canada's huge. Yeah, the circle. It's pretty, pretty fantastic movie. It's like just like an emotional, like thriller kind of deal. People are being floated out. What the hell? 
Do you think it's like the room service people? Maybe, Maybe. they're gonna let us know about Where's Jesse. Uh, he's in the bathroom. One sec. I'm gonna pick it up, okay? I love how they're like always. <laughs> that's one thing that we do in that genre. That's the stage genre. We will have like the camera already filming and we come into frame. And that's like what these past scenes have been. As if like the camera was just like recording there. And I've always found it kind of like an automatic giveaway. What should be like something creepy? Hello? Was that it? That was legit it. Think nobody said anything? Here. That's kind of weird. It's super weird. Uh, that's strange, right? Okay, I have to say when I go there, I have to check because sometimes hotels will have two phones in the room and one will be in the bathroom so that could be how they stage it i wonder like i just want to know i kind of like no wait what's that's why also i'm doing this like it's not a diss i just like kind of analyzing how the behind the scenes of things are staged or edited i wonder like it could be that or maybe they have more than one room too and they could be calling from another room or literally ask the people from reception but i don't think they would even have to do that the stage dress, so I don't think they did that. You sure you didn't hear anything? No, I didn't hear anything. It was just, I picked it up, dial tone. And there was no one like on the other side? No, nobody. So it wasn't like someone called and was like, oh crap! And Can you like, even like call? <laughs> Hello? There's nobody. Hello? Somebody there? So it's literally nothing. Somebody playing games with us? Dude, this isn't funny. Hello? What the fuck what is that? Yo, Jesse, come, come, come. Hello? I don't know about that. Okay, I'm, so I'm hanging weird. up. I'm hanging up. Yeah. That's okay. weird, man. That's, that's super that's, weird. That's pretty spooky, right? Twice in a row, bro. Twice in a row. Holy. How did someone even call that phone? Yeah, like, how do you even call, I like, rooms? No, I guess. Call rooms? I guess there's, so. Or like, there's no way people are just calling each other's rooms. That isn't. Is there, actually? It says room number. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Yeah. If we could call, we should try calling eight, that, the room. Eight what seven, was it? 873? Try, 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 try. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's try this. Eight, seven, three. Let me try again. Yeah. Eight, seven, three. Oh, you need to press seven first. So. It's ringing. Okay, is there a way to turn this off? Wait, my lights. I'm sorry, there is no reply. To leave a voice message, press 1. For operator, press 0. Here, try again. Try, try again. Why does it ring though? Like, I don't know, like this is so service. weird. Like if the room's out of service, it shouldn't like ring like that, right? Like why why would there even be a phone in there? It should ring. Hold on. It's ringing again. Did it pick someone answer? I think. Hello? <gasps> Somebody there? You dialed 873, right? Yeah, yeah. Yo! What the hell? Yo! What is that? I don't what know, dude. That? That's like... 
There's some definitely some, some type of interference, right? I think that's it. It just I think it just hung Dude, up. Hello? Oh my god. What the hell oh was my that? god. That was a That was, that like, was a like a that was the phone hanging up. Was that not? That literally sounded like when a, a phone, phone hangs hang. up. Oh, wait. No, 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 Okay, no, no, yeah, no. yeah. No, no, no. What the? That, dude, that's Are crazy. You sure you called yeah, that was that was eight seven three. Absolutely. What the fuck? Did you hear anything like bang on the other side? I didn't hear anything. I, I was, All I, I heard was listening. I didn't hear anything, but all I heard was what was coming from the phone. Yeah. Oh my god. Hello. Yo, dude. What was that? The this, you just missed it. What? The freaking phone. The phone. It, it rang. We we called that room. It ra no, no, what? No, 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 no. The phone rang. Rang. Okay. And we picked it up. Okay. And there was nothing. And we're like, the hell? We didn't even realize that things could call, right? Yeah. So we had an idea. What if we called eight seven three? So then we did. The and we heard like static, and there Wait, was like. It answered. It picked yeah, up. Yeah. Not only did it pick up, but we heard like, at first it was just static. And then it sounded like a big bang, like someone, it, we thought it, the person hung up the phone. Yeah. And then we heard like, Ksh. like Ksh. Maybe footsteps. Ksh. Yeah. But we really? didn't hear anything like against the wall or anything. Yeah. The fact that 873 entered in the first place is no, yeah, like there should be a phone saying. in there. The room is sealed off, right? So maybe, maybe it's just like a, like a different chain. Like they have it. Downstairs, like obviously they still have it active, but, but it's it, it, not, it, why would room. someone answer? Yeah. Why would it just be like someone be like, hello, you know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. That the only weird. other thing I would think of is if we somehow, like, called the room, like, next to it. Maybe? But, like, still, like, someone would have called you called in the, the first place? Yeah, yeah we somebody got, called us. Maybe it was... I don't know. It didn't sound the same. I don't know. But, like, we did get like a this. call and nothing was there. And so we kind of, like, freaked out. We're like, Yo, you I think it has to do with the, uh, like, the food? That's what I thought. I was like, maybe it's someone's calling, be like, "Oh, sorry that our guy ran off or something." But no one said anything when they. Yeah, there was no so vocals at all, man. It was just like static or whatever. I have no idea what? how to explain. I've never at every hotel I've been to, nothing has ever like happened like that. Can you even call? Like, how did you even call another room? Yeah, you can call any other room. Yeah. So pick up the phone. It's. And then you press seven, plus, eight. Seven three, and then. That's crazy. That's not someone. That didn't happen last time. It rang. It actually rang, and someone picked up last time. Oh, this is not what you're supposed to hear. No. no. Oh. What? Hello. But I feel like Push. the. Stopped. Wait, maybe you did it wrong. Let me try. You said what? Eight seven. Uh, seven, seven plus, plus eight seven three. Seven and the plus sign. Eight, seven, three. And then that button for speaker, I think. Yeah. Why isn't doing that? See, it's just weird. It's so inconsistent. That's weird. I don't know, man. That was freaky. Dude, I was literally getting goosebumps. Okay, so what do we do now? What's the plan? Okay, oh. well, we've all eaten, so we can either go back to the ballroom or I have this thing. Ooh, what is that? Y'all remember this? Yes, oh, sir. No. Which one was that? I remember a bunch of guests. This is the, the spirit box. So this like goes through all the radio stations near us and is like supposed to communicate with Okay, spirit box. I'm liking this. I want to see. So maybe this is the real paranormal stuff that the ghost or Anna was talking about. You guys have AAA batteries? AAA <laughs> battery? Take a look. This thing's off for some reason. <laughs> I think died. So love it. Praying that they have AAAs. I have a feeling my camera died. Twice. This is dead. My phone at two percent. Something just doesn't want you to record something. I swear to God. They're just like, no. They'll never stop. That is true. I mean, he's in a haunted place. They could still be taking energy from his devices. So that 
that's one of the real paranormal things that I could believe, but he could also just need to charge his stuff. Us. Please, God. He doesn't have batteries in his hand. Alright, so because everything's dying on me, we are going to probably explore the grounds around the place. Apparently there's another building. Uh, I'm not sure if it's too haunted, but we're gonna go check that out. And then we'll come back, go to the ballroom at 3 in the morning. So we have about three hours to kill. Um, who knows, maybe we'll take a nap in our room and uh, see if anything happens. But for right now, let's just do some exploring. Wait, so are they not gonna use like any devices then? Sure, we should go no, investigate that's, that. That sounds like center. that sounds like a bowling alley to me. That doesn't sound haunted we at all. Split up. I'll take the fun bowling alley. You guys get the <laughs> spooky hallways. Okay. Okay. Looks like that's definitely open. Oh, boy. with the lock. Oh, there's a chain on there's it. There's a chain on it. Do we have the bolt cutters? Oh, yes, let's look at the bolt cutters. This man doesn't even have batteries. Yeah. Yeah. So he has <laughs> oh my let's God. See. What's in here? going here. Come on. Wait, there's something. Oh. oh, that's us. Okay. So oh, the sh our shadow on the wall. Yeah, I was like, dude, someone's in there. There's gotta be a way in the building. Your eyes are like, just look how creepy these windows are, man. Here, come here. Tell me that doesn't this look like so handprints on the window. The, the camera can't see it. On the right one, you see? Yeah, there's like, on this one, guys, yeah. there's like a smudge mark here. Unfortunately, y'all can't see it. It's there, but that place is closed, so why would that be there? Here, man. Like, Oh, a train? Weird. weird. Fucking siren head? <gasps> We're done with him. Her. Ho? I think it's a they. That room? It's like the ambient Ooh. blue light? Oh. What? It's what are they watching in there? Above it's too. a TV show. No, the room above it also is mm -hmm. flickering. All you see is like a black yep. figure. He's got the clearance. We got more Phantom Bride signs. What is this? Is this like a museum? Seems like, like all these photos. Oh my god. Look at the jackpot. Da da da. Out of service. How the heck is a pool table out of service? This is such a nice room. This is like a different front desk. This is the back of the building. Oh hey, yeah, I'm uh, coming in to, to check in. Yep. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Nicholas. Got Nicholas Morgan. Yep. Yeah. Doors are locked. Okay. Come with me. Um, where are we going? Where's my room? Where's my card? What are you doing? Right here. This, this is my room. This is your room. I don't get like one of the fancy. This is your room. You're Nicholas Morgan, right? Yeah. Wait, so whoa. I never told you my last name. <laughs> Please don't tell me you heard something. I swear I heard something. I heard a knock though. Like someone like right There's on like me. Okay, let's go back for the others, dude. I don't like this. Dude, I literally it's probably heard like a this. staff area. Dude, yes. I heard that. You didn't hear that? I did. I was running. I was. And there's no one there. Okay, dude, let's just go back. Yeah, yeah, let's go. That's serious. Oh, look, look. It's the statue. We're outside. Oh, yeah. Mike, remember? Yeah, I was pointing at the. What was it pointing at? A room? It was pointing at the hotel. It was pointing I at think. the hotel. It was right yeah. outside. Dude, okay. Craziness, but like. I think he's always pointing somewhere. Is he like telling somebody where to go? He's pointing this way. Let's go this way. He's still pointing. He's still pointing, dude. It's a cart. Oh, it's an dead. unmanned cart. Oh, do you think it's sad? Dude? Jesse, because freaking. Oh my god! Holy fuck! What room is that? It's a, it's a hidden door. I'm 
isn't supposed to be open. What the hell? It's a hidden door. Yeah, look. You're yeah. not supposed to tell it's open. There's no handle on it? Yo. No. Yo, go, go, go. What's inside? She was pointing like this direction. Oh. Wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, like, you're not supposed to be here, but there's no signs saying we can't be here. It's so creepy. Giving back the cards. Look at this. This is telephone book for access to switchboard. That looked like a sign that was literally from when it was built. This doorknob just turns forever. I don't think it's uh gonna open, dude. Oh, what? What? That's not the, that's the ballroom, right? I think so, yeah. Jesse, is that? Can you hear that? Bro. Oh, you hear that? There's no one on it. It's worth that. That is weird, dude. And it just, not. It's locked. The hell? And it was just playing. I'm pretty sure that's just like added piano. I don't think the ghost is playing piano. I think we've established at this point that I don't think they're trying to make it real. Like the only thing that could have been real maybe would have been the spirit box, but no batteries. Heard that too, right? I don't, I, I just don't get what could have done this. What is that? That's the ballroom. That's creepy. That's a really scary hallway. Not bad. Oh, I heard. I heard something like talking. Someone was talking. Someone talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's possible that maybe there's people there. You wanna check? Put out. Nothing. He's saying he heard someone in this room. That music was really That was so fing weird. That that was crystal clear, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely thought and that there was, was no gonna be like on the piano or something. See? Dude, there's no one here. You know what the weirdest thing is? As lively as this hotel is when it's like daytime, we haven't even seen one person yet. I mean. Yeah, like at all. Like the other outside? Emptiness. Everywhere. But we keep hearing things, which is I don't understand. How yeah, like there was just that one guy with the vacuum. Oh, We're all the way over there. Talking, there was a... a, a yeah. <gasps> what? What if that was Sam? We didn't even check. That could have been it. Dude, I was literally... I swear to God, I was walking by him, and he was mumbling like it wasn't English. Yeah, I heard him mumble something. It was just like, it was not, it was just like blah, 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 blah. And I like looked over, I'm like, kind of creepy, but I just thought it was like a dude like. That's, that's weird, man. That's so weird. Dude, we should go back. See if he's go actually back and there. See if he's there. Yeah, because he's not there then. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go that back. might actually be him, right? But Jesse's right, there's like nobody around here, like out. Yeah, that's, that's really creepy. Maybe people know better not than to like, be wandering the halls at night? Yeah, for sure. It was right there. I don't see him. I don't see him either. Do you remember the guy standing over there? Yeah. He was vacuuming, vacuuming right in the middle of the room. He's, he's legit gone. Dude, I don't want to go over there. Yeah, I'm not bro. going over there, dude. Is there anyone there, Jesse? My heart is racing right now. Man, this is crazy. As if we didn't cl that didn't click. That could have legitimately been Sam. Jesse? Is there anyone there? Not me. Okay, dude, let's. let's Did we film it. him? Do you know if we filmed him? I'm pretty sure I saw him. I'm pretty sure I saw him. Just like. Do you remember the guy vacuuming the rug? I, like, I don't, where was he? I don't even I didn't see him. I know earlier when there was like a lot of people, anytime I would pass somebody, I would try to like 
put the camera down so I'm not filming randoms, but I'm pretty sure I looked back at you guys and saw him. What, was he wearing like the, the outfit? I don't remember what he was wearing. I, I don't know where I was looking at it. It, was, he, it had to have been like a real person, right? But he's gone? People don't just like disappear. So maybe working in another section or something? She's just called Ghost Bride. Weird. At the sprinkler behind you. It has some white material that kind of looks like something. That's probably cobweb. I don't know if I'm reaching far enough, but tell me that doesn't look like something that comes off of like a veil. Yeah. But why? That's yeah. high. Like, look how. Look, she fucking 20 feet tall. <laughs> I'm just wondering how they got there. Spiders. Did she die? So maybe it was like... I don't even think... Oh, 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 oh. It sounded like pounding on she the mic. Right? Was that in the bathroom? That was a bitch in the bag. I could feel it in the ears. Sure that was from there? Yeah. That was there, right? It was like a <clears throat> boom. It sounded like it. And it's on the, the freaking woman's washer. Well, we can't go in there. Yeah, we can't go yeah. in. That's, that's not gonna happen. Oh my god. This, okay, we're, there's this is too weird, man. Everything happen. is happening at once. I think maybe just like a small break, like go back to the room and maybe yeah. like chill yeah. for a little bit. We just like look through the footage and see if we yeah. see Yeah, exactly. Look through the footage and like exactly. actually like listen to see. Oh, and also seeing if we found Sam yeah, exactly. on the footage. Exactly. Okay, let's, let's get back to the room. Done many things in this like I would consider this a paranormal hotspot. It's right beside the room, so we're gonna do a seance and hope some spooky shit happens. We're not trying to contact Sam though. We're gonna try and contact the woman or just anything. Uh, so the, there was a family who died. There's a mom, a daughter in the room, yeah, and a dad who committed suicide. Okay, if this is like a staged part, I think that's like a little bit messed up. If that was a real family that died there and stuff like. Uh, I hope they like try to do it accurate, but I feel like they're just gonna blow it out of purple like uh, I don't know how I feel about this, but let's see how it goes Apparently the the daughter is supposed to be seen like in the hallway. So. Oh, okay, so she should be easy to contact There's a little girl in here with us Can you give us a sign that you are here? If there is a little girl here with us, please make some sort of noise to show us that you are here. It sounded like something over there. That sounded like a thumb from the closet. Dude, it's a I'm different, not even lying. different uh, location yeah. this time. Holy. Okay, so I think this is like too convenient. It does sound like a realistic kind of tud, but I don't know. I feel like it's edited just because like the whole thing seems like they were very, they were like following a specific script. But yeah, I hope this is just like a myth and that no family actually died there because it's like, I don't know. I would have personally be able to like 
stage stuff around like a real tragedy. But to each their own, I guess. <gasps> um, okay. Clearly, the little girl might be the one trying to communicate here. Let's keep so going. With let's let's keep going with the little girl. Yeah. If if you're here listening to us and trying to communicate, please give us a clear sign that you are here with us right now. Closet again. Holy dude! It has to be her, right? It has to be her. It has to be from either the other room, or she's in here, like over there. She but might be, okay, she died in that room, weird, right? right? Wait, wait, she died in that room. Mm -hmm. And then they closed the room off. What if she's trying to get, get out? out? And the walls would be the thinnest, like, connecting. Maybe she could hear us. She's, like, trying to give us a sign to, like, help her or something. Holy Jesus, that was terrifying. And it makes sense that we keep on hearing them there. It's definitely not from the closet. It's coming They're trying from to like the give room. us a sign, like oh. um, Here, let's let's see. If if there's a little girl here and is trying if there's a little girl here and is trying to escape Room 873, can you give us a sign? It's like a weird noise coming from somewhere else. Why does it just like stop? It just like stop. Wait, no. It doesn't even sound like it's coming from there. From over there? It looks like it's like rapid ground. Well, it could be. What the f? Okay, that's f***ing weird. What was that? Was that on? TV just turned on. Stop. Oh my god! What the f***? Yo, what? Yo! No! That's, yeah. Wait, what? Dude. What the f*** is going on, dude? Is the other one on? No, 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 no. This was... You should've left. How? Holy Dude, crap. what is that commercial? You see, it said you should have left. Dude, nope, nope. Is that what it said? That's what it said. Yes. Wait, it, right off the bat, like. What the hell? Can we turn this off? Like, um. Is there. It doesn't matter if they're. How the f is that open? <laughs> Holy really crap. Bad. You good? Uh, I'm shaking, bro. Dude, what the. I'm so fing confused. Did you turn it on? I s Dude, I thought when I was searching somebody like sat on like, it. The remote is right there. There's no way anybody could turn it on. No, but okay, no. I don't want to. I don't no, like did this. You, did you actually? What do you mean? Who the f turned it on? I'm not kidding. I don't know. The f did you turn it on? No, I didn't turn it on. The remote's right there. Yeah, like we asked for a sign, right? It's like. What do we do? I'm so confused. I mean, we should. No, but like guys, look legit. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. I'm going. Bye. What the? F I'm out. I'm taking my face. Can back. we? I'm going. Either this is a really good acting on their part, and they could have placed a remote there afterwards. I don't know how they would open the TV if they didn't press the remote button. They do seem kind of genuinely scared more than before but I'd say have I, I mean I don't watch much of their videos but I'm sure they're sort of good actors. I don't know. Maybe that is the real paranormal thing that happened. Not live in this room anymore? Uh, Can you like ask for another room? I mean I'm down to sleep in the car or like I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't what know. What the fuck? is going on we don't even know if they're like mean but it's probably not worth it to like find out it is very climatic though so i feel like it's part of the storyline because of that I, I don't know i'll give it the benefit of the doubt for this one okay let's let's get our shit just making sure it's like mike are you good i'm not the f is going on I, like there has to be like something like, I just don't get it. I'm just, I don't get it. Well, we literally got what we asked for. I know. 
It's just weird, man. It's just weird. Room 873? Legend has it a man murdered his wife and young daughter before committing suicide in that room. Okay, we got like... We heard things like in the other room. And like now we're hearing... That was in our room. That was here. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop it there because I think that's kind of like their conclusion and it's gonna be more of like talking about what happened like they might make like some other thing happen but i think this is mostly it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i did enjoy it it's not like something i usually watch i've had never watched any of uh, hype mike's videos i knew about them because they did say on their content that what we used to do like i've watched some of jester's videos before but going in i had no idea if he was going to try and communicate for real if he was going to actually investigate or if this was a scripted thing. I think overall I'm pretty sure it is mostly scripted. I would say like 99% sure that like 99% of it was scripted. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I think it was still entertaining and I know there's definitely a lot of time and effort still put in that video and I think the history of the hotel is super interesting and the hotel itself looks gorgeous. It's gigantic so I definitely want to go visit it guys and I'll bring Anna if she wants to join me. <laughs> oh, we got her focus a little bit. I think I need her like close to my face. Like, I can't react like this. That would be very intense. Yeah, maybe I'll figure it out one day. One day, guys. One day I'll have a real stand. It won't be just, like, a little box. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if there's any video that you would like to see from me, uh, comment it down below. And if I pick your suggestion, you will get a shout-out in that video. Also, let me know if you've ever had any real paranormal experiences. Do you see ghosts? Do you know someone that does? Let me know your story. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and a smash that subscribe button for more. And that's it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!